all right what's up youtube it's your boy lunar neos and we back with another peas word video and uh before we start this please like comment subscribe and if you want to come see me react to this live come down to twitch link is in the description and uh this title is i am plus size ugly and <laughs> 40 the title got me bro that's why i fuck it that's why i reacted to it bro i just want to i just want to see what you talk about uh we got folks in the chat chilling. We vibing. Uh, yep. Let's start it. You're telling me in 2024, women still are not able to go home and take off of work during their menstrual cycles. Why is this not a thing? I don't understand it because I have. Wait, can men take? Can men take days off for their menstrual? No, men men do not have paternity leave. Well, I think it depends on your state, but I'm pretty sure men can't take off a paternity leave if they can it's like maybe like a month maybe i don't know it just depends on your state but uh it's not it's not a lot of time i think uh the most you get is six weeks for women i think that that's what my stepmom told me you want days you want days off because you're a woman oh really painful periods and that i'm speaking on behalf of a lot of women and i still have taken things for it like it doesn't fix it wait did you say menstrual cycle or pregnancy hold on can men take days off you're telling me in 2024 women still are not able to go home and take off of work during their menstrual cycles oh her menstrual cycle oh no she you can't take off of that hell no it's all with why is this not a thing i don't understand it because i have wait can men take can men take days off for their match they want to take off for their menstrual cycle i mean what you say peace you should be you should be able to yes but you also got to remember that women didn't have to work they chose to work so like i don't know i feel like it's so like women now it's so backwards because like they wanted to come into the workforce which i understand most of them but it's just like because they because of, what was it the 1950s they wanted to come into the workforce and start the feminine revolution and all that stuff you know what i'm saying they 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 all the stuff that they want now they they got rid of it they got rid of it it's backwards bro You want days? You want days off because you're a woman? <laughs> mm. Really painful periods. I mean, I do feel like though that um, if y'all have uh, like, cause some women do have very painful periods. I will say that that um, like my sister, she had to get on birth control because hers was so bad, and so um, I think you should be able to use sick days for that or get you know what I'm saying like. But I don't know how like y'all sick days work. Cause I rem um I don't know. Well, I mean, just sick days in general. When I never use sick days, even I got sickle cells, so it's just like I heard all the time. So like, when I would work, especially when like um uh, my sickle cells was getting really really bad, I I I don't know. I pushed through it, so it's just like I can I me being sick, I can I will, I definitely will vote for like yes be able to use your sick days especially people especially like women with bad menstrual cycles and stuff like you should be able to use stuff like that to like um but i feel like that people will take advantage of that too you know it's a very it's a very blur it's a gray area it's a, it's a gray area I know that I'm speaking on behalf of a lot of women and I still have taken things for it. Like it doesn't fix it, but it is a really awkward situation trying to go to your managers, especially me working in a male dominated industry saying like, Hey, I'm, I can't stand up right now because my cramps are flu me and I really just want to cry. Can I please go home for the day? I know that seems easier said than done, but it's really not because men don't get it. And I understand why they don't because they have never gone through it and they never will. And I think it's just like, Oh, just a silly little thing. Like, Oh, you're just getting your period. Like, no, it hurts. And I want to cry and I'm breaking out and I feel ugly and I feel fat. And it literally like my uterus is knives. 
I don't want to talk to customers. If a customer comes to me right now, I'm probably just going to cry. It needs to be normalized that we can say, like, I need to go home for personal reasons or for female obligated reasons. And we don't have to elaborate. I'm not saying that it needs to be paid time off so we should get, like, our paid time that we were supposed to be there. But just being able to go home without asking and prying in a bunch of questions. That's why I agree with the sick days. Like, you should be able to use sick days for that stuff or just being like no we need you here like no i need and to I don't rest think, because my body and another thing i don't like i don't agree with either i don't think sick days you i don't think you should be allocated sick days for the year you know what i'm saying like you only get how many six days certain, certain jobs you only get like six six days four sick days you know what i'm saying like you should be able to get sick days per month you know what I'm saying? It's 30 days in a month. You should at least be able to get three to four sick. I think three sick days a month is reasonable. You know what I'm saying? Like just off top, like sick days. There's no pay, no nothing. Calling you sick. It is what it is. And that's just because cause I'm not even thinking about like, um, w like women with menstrual cycles and stuff. I'm thinking about people who like just live with chronic illnesses. It's like I got sick of so you know what I mean? People with like lupus that go to work and stuff, people with cancer that still work. Like it's so many people that have like just illnesses that they're not on disability and they're working and they're pushing through that stuff. And they, they it, some days are better than others. I feel like you like jobs should like that should be like taken that should be taken into consideration like honestly because a lot of people deal with a lot of shit that we don't know about and then especially when you get older people and then now that they're pushing back the um the uh retirement age to what like uh 60 and it's just like you got people that's like old as hell working still that like just you know what i'm saying they it it sucks is going through a lot right now and you wouldn't get it men understand and me personally i agree with what you're saying in the ideal world women would get because we've all been with women here right all of us are adults we know certain women their periods are more intense than others and we've seen the period cramps and we've seen all that but thanks to feminism it's not gonna happen yep. because you can't tell me that you're equal to me and you can do the same thing that I can do. And we're on the same level in all these ways. And men and women are different. And they tell me you want a week off for period pain, huh? That go back to what I said at the beginning. Like, y'all had it made. Like, why would y'all, why would, if I was little, living in the 1950s and I'm watching women protest and wanting to go to work. And I'm just like, why you want to go out there and sweat in these warehouses and stuff? I understand when the wars happen, y'all like got a taste of it and was like oh this shit fun we out here welding and shit they i don't know that shit went to their head bro like after the men came home and shit at the war two when, when war two in uh 1945 yeah after uh war two ended and the men came home and they did all that work they was like shit I, i'll prop my feet up after that if i was a woman Man, I would not have pro. I would have been out there sitting on bitches protest like, hell no, nah, y'all crazy. I'm not finna be changing tires in no warehouse for four. Uh-uh. Nope. Y'all's crazy. I'm going back home to cook waffles. You better you better take you better take a pill. <laughs> you better affirm that because it's not happening. But they got a they got a taste of uh the equal that was the that's what they got. They got a taste of that equality. Like, oh, we could do this shit too. Would you say, uh, yes, no job, but also no allowed to own a bank account unless married? See, that's different, though. That's different. Like, all that other shit, like, not having a bank account, not having to, uh, what what you say? Like, no job, not able to own a bank account unless you're married, not allowed to vote. So, see, that's different. You should have, like, y'all, they should have fought for all that shit. But like the actual job shit, cause they when women went to work, they raised the uh they raised like inflation started, you know what I'm saying? And so like men actually worked less hours back then and brought home more money. But because women in infiltrated the job market and stuff, they was taking away more job it it really it, it really caused the imbalance. I'm not saying like you don't can't vote and stuff like that. Like don't don't 
don't think I'm saying one thing and, and like adding another. You get what I'm saying? Cause the whole like, cause like if I was like, say I lived back then and I try, I wanted to open up a bank account for my daughter and put her name on it and stuff. She should be allowed. To, I should be allowed to put some money in that a bank account. You see what I'm saying? And on top of that, like the whole like job market thing, it was way more jobs that women could do without coming into like the auto industry or stuff like that. Like, um, like, like the office jobs and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. Like if, if, it was, if we lived in a perfect society, all the schools and daycares and all this stuff went and then when teachers went teachers still women back then so it's just like i don't know it's weird like how it's it's weird when you start looking back at like the original feminist movement to what the feminist movement is like the whole voting thing i think that was stupid but i i i, I get it but also it's just like back then when you think about like how like everybody operated like the man was the head of the house and stuff like that like i get why the loss is like that I'm not saying it's right i just understand it but also if you go back to like times before all of that a lot of women were in charge so i'm trying to figure out when did they change a lot of that stuff because if you think about and i hate to say that i hate to even bring this shit up but if you go back to like the era when like you know slaves and stuff was around a lot of women ran plantations and was in the businesses and like was running like the the uh, offices for their husbands and doing a lot of the marketing and doing a lot of the um uh, you know what i'm saying and then when slaves got free like they kind of like uh i don't know shit changed of course for black folks shit changed but also before the um segregation stuff a lot of black people black men and stuff had their own uh uh farms and stuff and plantations and they call they didn't have slaves but they called them uh what was it sharecroppers and stuff like that and then they would get like um like say somebody owned the the whole land and then um they would get like four families and then all the kids of those four families would come work on the field and then for every um so for every five bags of cotton that we filled up the four families like one family get a bag of cotton the other family get a bag of cotton so for every two bags every family got one bag you know what i'm saying so like i get my two bags and each family get their one bag then i get another two bags and each family get their one bags and that's how i operated and then like you know they started like the jim crow laws and shit like that and fucked everything up but like a lot of uh a lot of women back then that worked on those like sharecropper farms and stuff like that even the even the white families and stuff they did a lot of the business stuff so i'm trying to figure it's a it's a time period where like women was doing a lot of the work and stuff and then it just kind of shifted to the suburban lifestyle and then i don't know it's like everything went every they was working then stopped working and then had to fight their way back to work it was it, it don't make sense to me when you start looking at like law and i'm probably missing like a bunch of other stuff but i just know for a fact that a lot of women was working before the whole before all of that shit this is what equality looks like i know you're different you know but i think people got mad when they started like preaching equality stuff like they are equal to a man and so there's like, oh, you want to be equal to a man? Then y'all get the same type of shit. We can't do it. Y'all can't do it. X, X, Y, Z. And then I think that's really what what caused the like um, the disruption in the world. Oh, you're different, but that's not what the feminists say. So you can't say you want equality, then get preferential treatment. That's not how it works. If men don't get paid time off or time off in general, then you don't. It's so simple. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you can pick up your phone and start crying into the camera, bro, you need to go get help. And you need to start praying. Like dead ass. Like, I would never pick up my phone and cry to the camera. I don't care.
like, I just, I don't know. I just can't envision myself crying my eyes out, picking up my phone, and recording a video. You know? If that's, am I the only one that feels like that? I'm so tired. I don't know what I'm going to do anymore. Everyone keeps telling me I'm beautiful, but I don't see it. <laughs> Look at his face, bro. It's been almost 12 months since my divorce, and I'm almost 40. I feel like I'm not going to find anybody else who will want me for me. Bro, you're 40, bro. Like... All the men who have been interested in me just want to use me. They just want me for sex. Just want sex. They don't want me for me. And I keep being told that men don't like feelings. Who is snoring in the background? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, this is not a funny video, but wait. Hold that. I hope that's a dog, bro. I hope that's a dog. Don't like feelings. <laughs> Who is snoring in the background? I'm, so, I'm sorry, this is not a funny video, but who, someone is doing that madness right now. I know that's not true. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I got questions though. If you just got divorced, why'd you get divorced? Like, did you? I hope she wasn't listening to the internet. Like, go be happy. You'll find another. And I don't. This internet shit, bro. You get to the getting the women, man. Peeps, you gotta help them out. <laughs> What is a woman supposed to do? Look, Father Peace is here, okay? This is a sad video. And generally speaking, when women say prioritize yourself or focus on yourself, they're doing it in a way to kind of devalue men. But there are some times where you have to just focus on yourself, okay? And I feel like this is one of these situations. If you look in the mirror and you don't like what you see, why are you looking for a partner? You should be focusing on yourself first get yourself right first and then focus on the other stuff because when you don't value yourself when you don't like yourself that energy almost seeps out that's probably why men only want to use you because they know that you don't have that internal self-worth and on top of that when people and i see this a lot like uh like one of my exes like when she wanted to focus on herself she just became a hoe and it's just like you're not focusing on yourself like you're not better than yourself you're just hoeing around and men like men do that too but it's just like don't use you want to focus on yourself to better yourself or whatever and you're not actually taking the time out a lot of people don't know how to be alone a lot of people don't know what triggers them what bothers them a lot of people got past trauma that they're adding on and not dealing with it and and, and venting and getting all that out to where your aura itself will attract what you want. You can't want, you You cannot, it's, the world does not work like where you can attract Mr. Perfect or Mrs. Everything when your soul is not healed, when you, when you yourself inside is rotten to the core and selfish and don't even know how to take constructive criticism don't know how to hold yourself accountable for anything and yet you just think you're gonna find something when you're not even like taking the time out and a lot of times when people do focus on their self that's when the right person comes because you're not like you done tuned out all the negative you done tuned out all the 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 um the false words that people are saying just to get you to fuck with them 
and then somebody whose spirit is in the right key of yours boom you hit it off and it's just like a match made in heaven and you're like where the hell have you been at all my life you want to know why because god sent that person when you was actually working on yourself better yourself and not to you don't need to better yourself to find somebody you need to better yourself for yourself like why not make yourself happy why not like do everything to make you yourself as a person the best you can be so that way when you do get in a relationship you just enhance each other instead of expecting that person to make you happy people are so weird and backwards because you don't like yourself and that's another thing like nobody wants to be around somebody that don't love themselves that don't like if your self-confidence is so low like how you expect to even attract somebody that's worth a damn somebody please call the fucking police on this hoe please <laughs> now today i'm not standing for it this is the most disgusting thing and it's going to lead to a lot of terrible shit in the future not only is she a sorry mother who allowed 24 grown women to open their legs grown sick women okay i shouldn't have to put into words to y'all how sick it is to have a five-year-old waxing grown women okay so 24 women went to this woman's waxing whatever the case is and got waxed by a five-year-old 24 grown women got waxed by a five-year-old I don't, I don't even know what to say just like in the movie precious when she said come help mama y'all don't see how sick that is and for her to be waxing these other women y'all need to understand that she was probably waxing her mother first okay she literally oh my god I didn't even think about that oh jesus <laughs> christ cool cps what is oh my that is uh... They pimped this child out to 24 sick adult women who wanted to have a child touching their private parts. I don't care how y'all put it. 24 women in one day from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., which no child at five years old should be waxing coochies, grown women cooch, even, wa even around adult private parts from 7 to 5 p.m. Why does this child have a full-time job? A job sexually exploiting her if this was a man okay and, and and what's terrible is that the mother posted a picture of a grown woman with her legs cocked all the way back like this with her child standing right there so the proof is on the internet if the police do not lock her up and get a list of all the clients who were in her office on this this there are a lot of women who think that because they're women like things don't apply you know what i'm saying like because I guarantee the mother wouldn't let her daughter wax men. She's... Date that she posted this post. Uh, what's the word when um, it's double standards when it comes to women? I mean, that's just is what it is. And arrest them as well. There's no hope in this world. If y'all continue to go to and support this woman business, Y'all are terrible people because this is disgusting, y'all. If it was grown men coming in there to get waxed, it, it would be no debate about whether this was wrong or not. And I'm sick of y'all trying to act as if women are not abusers when they are. They are, okay? Women are the primary abusers of children. We, we all know this. Mentally, this little girl could be so messed up to where real predators in the community, right? Not ones who just comfortable coming to pay the money to do it and claiming it's for a business. But the ones who who not comfortable, they will go find this little girl. And that's just the bottom line. This is some sick shit. And this bitch needs to be locked up. She done deleted her page. She done whatever, whatever. Her name is Jasmine Moss. And Jasmine, I want you to know, I don't care how you try to justify it. What you did is wrong. You are a terrible mother. You are a sick bitch and your child will be traumatized. If she's not yet traumatized, you have opened the door for her to be traumatized. You had no business allowing her to wax private parts when she could have done legs, armpits, face, anything. 
She could have waxed the hair right on the belly. Everybody grow belly button hair. You telling me you really thought it was a good idea and you didn't. I mean, she shouldn't be waxing at all. She's a five-year-old working. Like, it's just weird. It's different than, like, washing dishes, you know what I'm saying? Helping your, helping your pops, you know, fix something in the house. But, like, she waxing. That's different. And see, nothing wrong with her waxing adult private parts and, and and it just hurt me so deeply because i have a four-year-old daughter and i cannot imagine her hand being anywhere near an adult so look apparently she was arrested which is fantastic cps should be called and you guys know me i'm i'm not big on the foster care system but in these situations come on man you idiot you idiot what like what 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 do you expect was gonna happen one time on a first date, a guy told me that he was not attracted to me, but that he would be willing to have sex with me because he was really horny. As long as I came back to his place. Um, uh, I mean, at least he was honest. Once on a first date, a guy told me that I was uneducated because I said that Christopher Nolan movie Tenant was difficult to watch. Once I was like 10 minutes late to a first date and I was really apologetic, but he forgave me really quickly because he said it was probably due to the fact that I'm a female driver. <laughs> One time I was on a walk with a man and he pointed out some mulberries to me and started explaining to me how mulberries look like blackberries and that's how you know that they're not poisonous. And then I asked him how to distinguish poisonous berries that might look like blackberries and he got mad at me. This one time a guy asked me if I ever painted my nails and I said sometimes but not often, why? And he said, haven't you ever heard the expression men love their dick wrapped in purple? No dude, I haven't heard that because I'm fairly fucking sure that's not an expression. Once for our first date, I went for a walk with this guy in a nature reserve and it was a lot emptier than I expected. And at some point he said, wow, it's crazy. I could just kill you right here and no one would even know. And this one first date, a guy told me- Bro, white dudes are weird as hell, man. I don't know what y'all be doing sometimes, my, bro my brothers, but y'all, y'all, y'all be doing some wild shit sometimes. That he stopped drinking alcohol because there are too many fat people in the world. Once I was on a first date with a guy who told me that he was pretentious, and when I asked him what he meant by that to try to understand better, he said I that I know y'all gonna be like, bruh, how you know all those dudes was white? Come on, man. Come on. He only liked high quality art and wasn't gonna waste any of his time on things like trashy television and that kind of stuff. And, you know, to try to give him the benefit of the doubt, I said, oh, it sounds like you just have very particular taste. And he got really mad at me and said, no. I am pretentious. Once on a first date, we went for a walk in the city after dinner and we conveniently ended up at his apartment, at which time I decided I'm gonna call an Uber, but he insisted that I call it from his apartment since it was winter. And while we were in there, he gestured to the air mattress on the floor, which was the only thing in his entire apartment and said, I wouldn't mind having first date sex. Once I was dating this guy and the first time I went over to his place, he asked me if I wanted to see his gun. Uh, it was a handgun. I had said no, but he showed it to me anyways. So a lot of women will make videos like this to kind of illustrate that, you know, men are the problem or there are so many weird men out there because they are, we all know this, but how many first dates was that? Why have you been on so many dates? Those are just the ones that were weird. What about the ones that weren't weird? They just didn't work out because maybe your character didn't click or whatever the case. The more you date, the more likely it is you're going to have weird experiences. And the only people that date a lot are the people that are the least compatible. Because a good woman taken off the market real quick. And I ain't talking about looks because beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, okay? I'm talking about personality. That is true. A lot of women would never acknowledge their red flags which is it is what it is but a lot of men are fucking they don't acknowledge their red flags either but they know they're toxic that's the one thing that's weird why they know they're toxic and they can get their gas lighters or something but they won't work on themselves but then again, a lot of women don't hold herself accountable. I don't know. It, it, I ain't even finna get into all that. Professional thief. You got 96, 96 convictions of crimes. Not counting 
what's about to happen here. Ten convictions of uh, crimes, a theft, harassment. I mean, this goes back to 1991. You've been committing crimes for 30 years now. Damn! <laughs> Lock her away, Judge. Set up. Lock her away, man. Five years. This is ridiculous. Five years. Ninety six. And she's still walking. She's a menace to society. She. Listen. The world will be a safer place without her. Uh, but she got Bro, thirty years is insane. <laughs> she been out here thugging for thirty years. A heart disease and she's still committing these crimes. Wait, she got a heart disease, bro. It's the society she is. Listen, the world would be a safer place without her. Uh, but she got a heart disease and she's still committing these crimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Uh, that's going to end your life expectancy, but it doesn't prevent you from committing crimes. That's a problem. It's your criminal history. 96. That's one of the most pro. I've done this for a long time. Thousands of cases. You are one of the most prolific criminals that have set foot in. My man says she is a prolific criminal. <laughs> Bro. This room. And, and. And she's smiling. That's the crazy part, bro. She taking it. Bro. I guess you have used similar kinds of sad stories to others to try to minimize your responsibility but uh this this is nothing to be proud of and it's not anything that <laughs> this court can really sympathize with you people come in here everyone comes in here maybe one or two out of the thousands have been more prolific in their criminal actions, quantity of crimes more than you. But all of those thousands of people that come before me could say, oh, well, uh, Miss Tiffany Marshall, uh, you, she had 97 convictions and you let her kind of sashay out of here. And I'd like the Tiffany Marshall rule, please, because aren't you supposed to be fair, Judge? Yeah, I am. I should be fair and everybody is to be judged based upon their criminal history and character. And this is not, it was very poor character <laughs> and your criminal history is most prolific. This court is not going to change the rule of law, which states people are responsible for their bad acts, their criminal acts. <laughs> they must be held responsible. 97, 97 convictions is rid. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's probably petty crime, which is why she's not, you know, spending the rest of her life in prison. But it's because she didn't get a lengthy sentence why she's still doing it. If you would have gave her a 10 piece, maybe she would have calmed down. But she's been doing it for 30 years. That's crazy, bro. All right. You two, like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy. Come over to Twitch if you want to. Appreciate y'all.